the top of the hour, we're following breaking news from provincial police who say an MTO officer has been taken to hospital with critical injuries after being struck by a vehicle this morning while setting up road closures on the highway for another crash. And in Vaughan, around 20 homes under construction caught fire this morning. Multiple tip callers to our newsroom say they heard an explosion around 5 o'clock. Road closures still in effect near Highway 27 and Rutherford. Coming this December, experience the magic of the holiday season at Casa Loma as Toronto's historic castle is transformed into a winter wonderland. Wander through a dazzling lighting display in the gardens and tunnels by night during the spectacular holiday lights tour. Or experience the castle resplendent with holiday decor by day. Bring the whole family along to Casa Loma and prepare to get into the festive spirit. Tickets on sale soon at casaloma.ca. Some sound advice for your device. Download the City News Toronto app and get your information whenever, wherever. City News, everywhere. It's going to be an emotional night for the Buffalo Bills in Cincinnati. That highlights another busy NFL Sunday. Simon Bennett has more. The last time the Bills played in Cincinnati, January 2nd. Players, some were watching, some were turned away. Bills player DeMar Hamlin nearly died on the field back then. The medical staff of both teams saving his life after a cardiac arrest. Ten months later, he's healthy again and with the team. Tonight, their first visit since it happened and their first meeting since the Bengals knocked Buffalo out of the playoffs weeks later. That's the matchup tonight for Sunday Night Football and other notables. The Raiders cleaned house this week. New head coach Antonio Pierce leaves the way against the Giants. And the best game of the day might be the first one this morning. The Chiefs and Dolphins, two great offenses hooking up in Frankfurt, Germany. Simon Bennett, City News. Your business news is next. Thank <laughs> you. 
visit Singal.ca. C-I-N-G-A-L.ca. Stop going on about your knee pain. Instead, talk to your doctor about Singal. Singal may not be appropriate for everyone. If you have questions about this product, talk to your doctor. Since 1967, Green Park Group has built over 82,000 homes and condos. The Green Park legacy, founded on the principles of integrity, loyalty, and hard work, has been carried forward for six decades and now three generations. Each generation has brought with it new skills and ingenuity which further its legacy of building excellence and its position as the people's builder. With new condos in Richmond Hill, Vaughan, and Milton, see the future of this legacy for yourself at greenpark.com. Back. It is our editor of this hour, Amber LeBlanc, the news director, City News Time, 9 o'clock. Toronto's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is City News 680, everywhere. It is Sunday, November 5th. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Graywall. I'm Sarah Carioni. Here's what's making news right now. Houses under construction on fire and several nearby homes evacuated. I'm heading to the scene. Breaking news from OPP and MT MTO employee has life threatening injuries following an early morning crash on Highway 400. A possible sigh of relief for over 400 Canadians stuck in Gaza as Global Affairs says they could get a chance to cross the Rafa border into Egypt today. York Region Transit is beefing up service on its Viva network while shuttle buses are still running on the Barry Line and a portion of the Young Subway. The transit news you can use coming up. The Sabres skate past the Maple Leafs 6-4 to four despite a hat trick from Austin Matthews. The Raptors get set for the Spurs today. We have NFL Weeknight Action kicking off this morning's sports at 15. And coming up in business, November is Financial Literacy Month. And experts say it's never too soon to start teaching your kids about money. City News 901, sky for traffic and weather together on the ones. Call us, Thanks, Jonathan, and this report is brought to you by Search Kings. Southbound 400, yes, it is closed from Highway 88 down to Davis Drive. A bit of a backup, of course, as you approach 88, where you're forced off at. We also have the ramps shut down from east to westbound 88 with this line. There's no access to the southbound 400. So when you get off at 88, you can even get off at 89 and take a fifth side road. It's just west of the 400. That goes all the way down to Highway 9. And uh, but a backup right now approaching Highway 9 on the fifth side road. So you might want to even go over to Highway 27. It's a nice scenic drive uh, taking that route. Um, we also have the ramps from Steels onto the southbound 400 closed. And that is for construction, construction on the northbound 400. This is at Highway 407. The left lane is blocked. If you're traveling southbound on the 427 at Bloor in the Express, the right lane that is closed for emergency road work. And we still have Rutherford shut down both ways between McGillivray and Simmons. That's approaching Highway 27. It's closed for an ongoing working fire. Looking for better results from your Google advertising? Switch to Search King, winner of the Google Premier Partner Customer Satisfaction Award. Your search is over. Let Search King help your customers find you. Your next report is at 9 11. Let's get the forecast with Denise and Jirashi. We've got some sunshine out there. Temperatures are a little chilly, but it's that time of year that we need to just be prepared in the morning because it feels like zero downtown, even though we're sitting at about 3, 4 degrees at the moment. The guarantee high is 10. We've got a mix of sun and cloud all day. It's quiet weather to wrap up the weekend, but tomorrow wet and windy, so we will be keeping an eye on things for tomorrow. But there's no concerns today when it comes to the weather. It's seasonal and a guaranteed high 10 degrees. City News Time 903. Happening now in Vaughan, firefighters are battling a large fire near Highway 27 in Rutherford. At least 20 houses under construction were on fire earlier, but we're learning it's just one now. Residents in the area were also forced to evacuate as a precaution. Our Sophia Beverusos with the latest. Sarah Johnson, none of those are occupied, but several occupied homes nearby have also been evacuated as a precaution. We are now learning that there have been several propane tank explosions adding to the fire, which first broke out around 4 this morning. So far, there are no reported injuries, but paramedics are on scene standing by with several ambulances. Rutherford is closed in both directions, west of Highway 27 between McGillivray and Simmons, and residents can't expect a heavy police presence in the area. Reporting live, heading to Highway 27 in Rutherford, 
with Sophia Vavarusso, City News. And some breaking news as well from OPP who say an MTO employee has serious life-threatening injuries after a collision on the 400 this morning. Police say there was a crash early this morning around 2.40 on the southbound lane to the 400 near Line 5. A few hours later, an MTO employee was setting up lane restrictions when they were struck from behind by a vehicle. OPP say that the employee was rushed to a trauma center. The driver of the vehicle remained on scene. Currently, the southbound 400 is closed off between Highway 89 and Highway 9. More details on how to get around this closure are coming up in your next traffic report with Colette Desjardins. City News Time 905. continue to grow worldwide for an end to the violence in Gaza with multiple protests held yesterday. Here in Toronto, tens of thousands of people attended a march organized by the Palestinian youth movement outside the U.S. consulate on University Avenue. Montreal, Ottawa, and Fredericton had similar protests yesterday. The comes of Global Affairs Canada says that over 400 Canadians are still trapped in Gaza and should be able to re leave the region today, although a firm timeline hasn't been established. The agency says it's contacted several of the Canadians in the Strip with departure dates and logistics. At the moment, it's expected they'll cross the border into Egypt before arranging other travel back home. The Gaza Health Ministry says the death toll there has now topped 9,500. City News Time 905. City News 680. Traffic alert. And this is Colette Desjardins from the City News 680 Traffic Center. Highway 8 or southbound 400 closed from Highway 88 down to Davis Drive for collision investigation. And if you're on East or Westbound Highway 88 or Fifth Line, the ramps to the southbound 400, they're off limits closed for this investigation. The 680 Traffic Launch continues. City News Time 906. Palestinian health officials say Israeli warplanes struck a refugee camp in the central Gaza Strip, killing at least 33 people and wounding dozens. Today's strike comes as Israel vowed to press on with its offensive to crush the territory's Hamas rulers, despite U.S. appeals for a pause and fighting to get aid to civilians. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Jordan Saturday meeting with six regional Arab leaders, reaffirming U.S. support for a humanitarian pause in fighting as opposed to a ceasefire in order to get hostages out and aid into Gaza. Ceasefire now. It's simply the Hamas in place. While in Delaware Saturday, President Joe Biden expressing optimism about a pause in fighting to get hostages out and aid into Gaza. Mr. President, any progress in the humanitarian pause? Chuck Severson, ABC News, New York. As the violence continues in Gaza, one is written. Israeli minister is drawing intensely negative reaction. Amihai Aliyahu, the minister of heritage, suggested in a radio interview that there's a possibility that Israel could drop an atomic bomb on Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu shortly afterward shared a response on Twitter, which says that Minister Amihai Aliyahu's statements are not based in reality. There are reports that the minister has been suspended from government meetings following his statements. The Foreign Ministry of Palestine has also condemned the minister's call stating his comments are a translation of genocidal war that Israel has been waging against the Gaza Strip for 30 days. City News Time 908. Changes are coming for transit users north of the city while two major train lines are being replaced by buses today. City's Dr. Roth has the transit news you